Alright, how's it going everybody? It's Cool 101 here bringing you another PS4 video today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the 30 confirmed video games that is going to be coming out for the PlayStation 4, of course. And yeah, this is the updated version. And yeah, this is with all the 30 games that has been announced so far. So yeah, whenever the more games are going to be announced, I'm going to assemble them all and then make another video like this. So yeah, let's start off with this list here. Before I get into this, I just want to say that some of the games that are going to be mentioned are games that we're not too familiar with, but um, we don't have any actual footage for it yet, but we still have a little summary of what the game is going to, what's going to transpire during the game. So let's go ahead and go through this list. Number one, we have Knack. Uh, now, Knack is an upcoming PS4 video game published by Sony Computer Entertainment, and yeah, this game seems pretty interesting to me, and it was announced February 20th for an anybody who doesn't know, and yeah, it seems pretty interesting to me. We don't know much about it, but it's about this guy named Knack who discovers he has this skill that allows him to incorporate ice, metal, and other substances in his body giving him new abilities from level to level and yeah that's something that's really cool and yes yeah, Sony described the gameplay as a little bit like Crash Bandicoot, Cataman Demacy, I don't really know what that is and with a touch of God of War so that sounds pretty good to me and hopefully it's going to be a good game. Now the second one is the mo one of the most popular ones so far is Killzone Shadowfall and yeah as you guys probably know is an upcoming video game by Guerrilla Games and it's going to be for the PS4, of course. And it'll be the sixth game in the entire Killzone series. So yeah, shall I say more? Number three, Drive Club. And yeah, Drive Club is going to be this new upcoming racing game. And yeah, it's published by SC SCE, Sony Computer Entertainment. And yeah, it's going to be developed by Evolution Studios for the PlayStation 4. Drive Club was officially announced during the PlayStation 4 press conference on February 20th. This, for those of you who don't know. Number four, Infamous Second Son, another popular one. And it's the third Infamous in the series, and it's going to be released for the PlayStation 4. And again, it was revealed on February 20th. And in this one, it's going to be featuring a new protagonist called Dels and Rowe. And it's based after the events with Cole McGrath and the Beast from two, from the first two titles. And the game is to be set in Seattle, and the release date is still unknown, unfortunately. Now, number f let's get into number five. Now, number five is The Witness. I'm not too keen on this one. It, and it's going to be an upcoming 3D puzzle video game. Um, yeah, I'm not too into video games like that. But number six, Battlefield 4. Now, for those of you who don't know Battlefield, and it's pretty unfortunate if you don't. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Battlefield 4 is the upcoming first person shooter video game. And it's going to be developed by DICE and published by Electronic Arts. And the game is the sequel to 2011's Battlefield 3, and the 13th installment in the Battlefield series. We don't always recognize how much Battlefield games have come out, because a lot of people started playing it at the first Battlefield. Um, yeah, Battlefield, Bad Company, yeah, sorry. So yeah, a lot of people don't know, recognize how many Battlefield games there are. Battlefield 4 has also been confirmed as a next gen console title, and officially confirmed from PlayStation 4, like I said. So yeah, um, and number seven is it's Battlefield's competition, Call of Duty Ghosts, and it's the upcoming first conversion shooter video game to be the 10th installment in the Call of Duty series, and it's stated to be released worldwide on November 5th, 2013, although, um, although we don't know if it's going to be released on next-gen consoles the same date, but we know it's going to be released on the next-gen consoles. So number eight, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And yeah, this is another big one uh, that's coming. It's the upcoming action adventure open world video game being developed by Ubisoft. And it's the sixth major installment in the Assassin's Creed series. It is scheduled for an October 29th release in North America, October 30, 31st, 2013 release in Australia, and a European release on November 1st, as usual. So yeah, it will be available for Microsoft Windows, PS3, Wii U even and the Xbox 360. PlayStation 4 version is also in the works um, alongside the new Xbox, but no release date has been confirmed yet. So yeah, let's go through nine, number nine. We have Watch Dogs. This is another popular one that we saw during their conference as well. And yeah, it's the upcoming open world action adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubi Ubisoft for Montreal Windows. And yeah, Watch Dogs centers on the player's ability to hack into various electronic systems, either to obtain control information or um, 
to destroy those devices completely at specific times, really. And the game was first unveiled during Ubisoft's press conference at E3 2012. And yeah, we saw some gameplay of that. It was pretty cool. And yeah, so number 10 is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, it's up. It's an upcoming open world game as well. There's a lot of open, upcoming world games coming for PlayStation 4. And yeah, it's developed by CD Projekt Red and officially announced on February 5, 2013. And the game will be the third in the series. I'm not really too. I'm not too familiar with the series, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some more news on that later on. So yeah, number 11 is Blacklight Retribution, and it's a zombie. Studios first person shooter which was originally a free to play PS PC game for those of you who don't know And yeah, it's gonna be basically popular for its multi multiplayer and yeah, it's gonna be featuring All of the expected competitive shooter tropes with prov progressive leveling system You're going to be playing as a soldier battling rival factions for control of the futuristic world infested with zombies And yeah, that's something that a lot of people are going to be interested in, mark my words. So yeah number 12 is War Thunder. Now War Thunder is a multiplayer combat flight simulator and it is currently in the open beta testing phase and is con constantly undergoing small to big changes um, to improve gameplay and eliminate as many bugs as possible. So number 13 is Destiny and it is an upcoming video game being developed by Bungie. The game will be an action role playing first person shooter in a mythic science fiction open world setting. And so yeah, this should be pretty cool. Can't wait to see this. And yeah, this is another interesting one too. Number 14, Cyberpunk 2077. And yeah, this is a role playing video game in which it was announced in 2012. And it's based on the Cyberpunk series of tabletop role playing games. Yeah, the game aims to be... Um, be mature and ambitious with character customization being strongly tied to the plot and it will have a non-linear story with different character classes and yeah this is another one I'm really looking forward to even by this picture right here it looks pretty darn interesting so yeah the number 15 Diablo 3 and yeah Diablo 3 is one that a lot of people are looking forward to as well and yeah it's an action role-playing video game so number 16 is Thief it is the reboot of the Thief series, actually, of Stealth Games, of which is the fourth game. So yeah, number 17 is um, Wolfenstein, The New Order, and is an upcoming first-person first shooter game. It's going to be for the PS3 and Xbox 360 as well. So yeah, number 18 is The Evil Within, and it's an upcoming and it's going to be an upcoming survival horror video game. And contrary to The Last of Us, and yeah, hopefully it's going to be not resembling it, but have its own unique twist added to it. Number 19th is The Real Driving Simulator, Gran Turismo 6, and yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to it. Yeah, especially considering the success of Gran Turismo 5. Can't wait to see how that turns out. So number 20, Sniper Elite 3. Now, Sniper Elite 3 is a 2014 scheduled tactical shooter video game. It's going to come out a little later, yet yeah, something that I know you guys, these snipers out there, is going to be looking forward to. So, 21, Horror of the Orient. I have no idea what the t why the what's up with that title. Um, I don't know what it's referring to, if it's actually true to its saying, but yeah... It, I, we have no idea what it is really. It's just a next generation gaming title because um, there's no information really on this game. But yeah, hopefully in the future we'll have some. So number 22 is Final Fantasy Project for next gen, of course. And it's the this Final Fantasy title is the first t for the next gen generation gaming platforms, of course. And yeah, not too, in, too much info for that as well. But yeah, in the future there's going to be. So yeah, I can't wait for that. Number 23 is Deep Down, and it is a technical demonstration running on Capcom's codename Panta Ray. We saw a little bit of, a little bit of this um, earlier this year, and yeah, it looked, it looked pretty good. So yeah, number 24, Human Element. The tagline of this game is, when society, when society ends, survival begins. And yeah, there's a lot of survival games, I don't know why. Yeah, it's just something that a lot of people are interested in nowadays. And yeah, Human Element explores the fight for humanity in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. And the game utilizes simulation ele elements to customize your experience depending on the type of character you choose and the, re and the relationships you forge in the game with other survivors. Now, Human Element is coming to PS4, unfortunately, in 2015, so we still have some time before that one comes out, but yeah, it's really looking good. Number 25 is 
Carmageddon reincarnation, and it's it was previously known as Carmageddon 4, because yeah, it's the fourth vehicle combat game in the Carmageddon series. So yeah, number 26 is Beyond Good and Evil, it's looking like a good cartoon, and yeah, the other name for it is BG and E2, looking good. So yeah, let's go into number 28, Lords of the Fallen. And not too much information as this as well, but it was first teased over the past year through interviews for next generation consoles. So yeah. Number 29, Metro, last night. And yeah, 4A Games intends to release a PlayStation 4 version of its upcoming shooter Metro last night according to an interview. Number 30, Beyond Two Souls. And yeah, not too much information is going on to this as well. And yeah, it's an entitled PlayStation 4 game that would be based on Beyond Two Souls engine. And yeah, the developer began the development on PlayStation 4 over two years ago among the first developers to have dev kits. So yeah, which influenced the technology that would go into be building be um, Beyond's engine. So this game is coming to the PlayStation 4. So that's basically all the 30 games that is going to be released for the PlayStation 4 so far. Um, thank you for watching the whole thing. And yeah, this is the updated version. So when more games are going to be announced, I'm going to make another part two to the series. So yeah, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about these games. Which ones or which one are you looking most forward to? Uh, yeah, I'm looking I'm looking forward to a lot of ones. Really like Knack and stuff like that. Um, Cyberpunk as well. So yeah. And if you're excited for the PlayStation 4 and or want to see more videos like this, um, yeah, more gaming news, next generation for the Xbox 720 or the PlayStation 4, feel free to subscribe. It's going to support me into doing so and motivate me into making more videos like this. So yeah, it's cool. 1 1 here, and I'm out. This life's so sweet, I don't really give a fuck. Only wet over cream, so these girls want to know. What's it going to take to get in my bedroom? Kind of strange how I deny these girls, but the money I'm going to make, I'm going to buy these girls. Any moms want me, any aunts want me, any dads all mad to your pops.